I'll just do a real quick review. This is the Leatherman Signal. I got it a while back and I took it camping. After one camp trip, I broke the ferro rod. You can take the ferro rod out of the tool and use it to start a fire. But I found it way more useful to keep it in the tool and use my other Leatherman Surge to scratch the ferro rod, which in turn scratches the shit out of your tool. But that's okay, it's just paint and it is a tool. I'm not really a collector. Um, the carabiner on this is like any other Leatherman carabiner. It works, but I don't trust it to clip it on in my pocket because I've lost Leathermans using the uh, beaner. The hammer is awesome. It actually, you can pound tent stakes in easily. The pocket clip is great, though when I was done camping, it came loose. So I had to Loctite it. But I think that this Leatherman fits in your front pocket safer than all the rest because it's its pocket clip is bigger, I think, and it stays in your pocket better. Like my Skeletool will fly right out of there. So I always take the pocket clip off and I grind some metal down there to try to make a, a little more friction. What else? This diamond sharpener is lame. Um, I can open it one-handed, kind of like the, the free. You, I won't be able to do it on this camera because you have to give it a swingy, like a butterfly knife, Bali song action. The tools are... You got a leather awl, which is sharp, real useful for wood whittling and doing wet leather. A uh, bottle cap opener, and you've got the multi-tip bit holder. Um, it's early here, and I'm just waking up. The pliers work just as good as any other Leatherman pliers. They're fine. But as you can see, after one camping trip, it's pretty beat up. Would I recommend it? No, not really. Not as a survival camping tool. But I do think it makes a pretty good EDC like pocket knife Leatherman because it stays in your pocket so good and it's not that heavy. And it's got all the useful Leatherman tools that you'll need except for this stupid diamond sharpener and there's a whistle in there in the ferro rod. You can take that out and blow it. That's stupid. I think I can whistle louder than that thing whistles. Anyway, that's my quick review on the Leatherman. Would I recommend it? Nah, not really. Would I like them to redesign it and make it something different? Yeah. Would I like them to make a better signal survival tool? Heck yeah. Anyway, it's a fun, it's a fun multi-tool. It's got cool colors. Coral and turquoise reminds me of like the 50s. That was a good time. Opens pretty easy. Anyway, that's that.